Alrighty, guys, gals. What's going on, everybody? Hello. Hello there. This is Susie. This is our undead mage, and this is the aquaphobic challenge. She has aquaphobia. You can look it up. It's a real thing. We have an intense fear of water. We don't trust people. This is a viewer created and suggested challenge. You could find the complete rule set in the very first episode. Let's get back into it. It's a Saturday for me. Happy Saturday to me. Happy... I'm going to guess Tuesday. Could be wrong. Tuesday? Wednesday? Monday? Mon Tuesday. It's a... It might be a day of the week. Could be the weekend. Really? That's all I got, man? That's quite disappointing, bruh. You know what's really cool? Just when an old guy says bra. <laughs> right? <laughs> it is he. <laughs> okay. Um let's put this tiger's eye in the bank. I don't know why I'm gonna put it in the bank, but what now? What do you mean what now? I've never even spoken to you before, douche. Alright. We got a putrid Trust claw. No one. We're gonna be working on some quests in this episode. We're also gonna hit level eight. And when we hit level eight, check this out. Coming soon. Okay. Well, we can get arcane missiles and polymorph. We are not allowed to use frost bolt. No frost spells whatsoever. Why? Frost is moisture, water. We can't have it. That's right. That's how bad it is. That's hearth to brill. It's a one-hour cooldown. You know what? Let's save the CD. I'll just run out there. We'll run. And I'm just never going to be happy with the placement of this. Let's see. Move this to the quarter. Or, I mean, to the corner. I'll track that there. How's that? Okay. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Racked in like a maniac. Whiplash. That's right. We're trying to reach level 30. Yes, we are. We hate the Scourge. We're going to kill him. We're going to kill the Scourge. Any that we see. We have to avoid water at all costs. Mm -hmm. We've got to stay out of groups. We can't. We don't trust people. They abandoned us. Yes, they did. Cowards. God, there's water under here. Well, it's slime. Let's just go. Just go across. Just get across. Get across. Get across. More powerful spell is already active. Gussy. We have a uh, weak troll's blood potion. I think we got... That was a quest reward. Wait a minute. What am I doing? I don't think I can use potions. How do you feel about that, Kevin? Captain Carrick? Carrick? I don't know what that is. I don't know why I said Carrick. <laughs> I'm going to hold off on this potion. I'm going to need to okay this with the man himself. This is a form of liquid. I can't drink this shit. We're undead. We don't really need water. I'm going to take that off the bar. I need, uh, I need that to be okay. Uh, okay by the man. We're going to hold off on that. We are... What are we doing here? We need dusk bat pelts. Is what we need. Let's get some. Get some! Hope you guys gals are doing well today. If I haven't said that already. Sometimes I forget what I say. That's right. Sometimes I don't remember where I left my walker. Yeah. Sometimes I don't remember if I have taken my pills. Sometimes I don't know where my glasses are. Sometimes I'm looking for my glasses and I'm wearing them. That's not even a joke. <laughs> Anybody ever done that? It's a pretty good move, man. <laughs> where are my glasses? Where the fuck did I leave them? 
Oh, here they are. I thought I could be seeing stuff. No, I only wear these glasses when I'm sitting here. Yeah. If you guys would even recognize me without my glasses. But the eyesight is getting it's getting worse. It used to be just like stuff like right here, like this close. I'd have to have glasses. Now it's my monitors. I mean, if I take the glasses off and sit back, it's fine. But this distance here, what is that? That's about two, two foot, maybe a little bit more. It's just the small things are a little bit blurry. No trouble seeing. Never mind. I'm not going to go there. I was on my way in my mind, but you know what? A ruined pelt. That's not good enough. This is what I think they should have done with all of the, um, like, uh, parts that you need from an animal. If you need, I don't know, eyes, and you kill something that has 12 eyes, you sh it should say damaged or whatever like you know instead of you just don't, you don't get anything it should say damaged i know it's junk in the bag actually never mind <laughs> that's a stupid idea <laughs> your bags would be so full i'd be cussing it i'd be like fucking blizzard i'm always gonna find a way to complain about blizzard don't you worry He ravaged me, yes. Thank you. God, do I need to be ravaged. Yes. <laughs> Let's not make it uncomfortable. Too late. Way too late. What do you mean, don't make it uncomfortable? <laughs> Do we need these freaks? No, we do. We need uh, putrid claws from these freaks. They're undead like us. Except they're a different type of undead. I guess. Take a nice... Long, slow, awkward drink. What are you doing up here? Walking around? You realize you have a chopstick through your head, right? No, he doesn't realize that. I wonder what the deal is with that. Is it a chopstick? Oh, they're arrows. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. I mean, I guess it's funnier I thought they were chopsticks. I mean, I didn't really think they were chopsticks. But I didn't think they were arrows. So it looks like at the time of this video for me... level 8. The Last of Us is winning by a landslide as far as what uh, what we're playing next in the Fright Night series. I'm really looking forward to it. All the games on there I was look, I'm was i looking forward to. Also, I did get uh, I thought Resident Evil 7 was the same thing as Resident Evil Village. It is not. A couple people told me that my Resident Evil fans. I have to say, I am officially uh, a Resident Evil fan. Big time. Uh, but I was told that Resident Evil 8 is called Village. Resident Evil 7 is called something else. Maybe it's just Resident Evil 7. Hold on. Wait, I wrote it down. Well, no, it's just 7. I don't know what it is. Um, also... 
alien isolation and fear are uh, being added to the list. I'm not going to lose the list this time. And what I'm going to try to do, what I meant to do the last time I did the poll, whatever had the most votes, like second or third place, those are going to go on the list next along with uh, new games. I, you know, I want to play what what my fans want to see, but I've never played any of these games, so it's going to be really exciting to me, uh, for me. And it was Duck Lord. What's up, Duck? Recommended Alien Isolation a few times, and Duck, I'm so sorry that I don't remember shit. But now I saw Hybrid Panda. I think it was Hybrid play some of that game. It looks real good. This is level nine. Got any... Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that's right. We did pick up herbalism. Let's go do some herbing, man. Peace Bloom, is that our first thing? It is. We have to fight for it. You gotta fight for your right to Peace Bloom. Is that a Beastie Boys reference? Kind of. I never got into the Beastie Boys, man. But I've said this before. I do... They were cr very creative. I liked their... Uh, I like some of their videos. Failed attempt on the first try. That means uh, super good luck. Now, if I'd gotten it, I would have said that meant super good luck. If you fail twice in a row, it's extra good luck. If you get it three on the third try, it's just a win. What do we have over here? Um, let's go train up first. That's what we're gonna do. Wait, is that the rare? There is a rare. Um, it's actually down there. There's a rare bat called something. Can't remember what's called. We might run across them when we come back down here to kill. The Scarlet Freaks. What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Beastie Boys. Intergalactic planetary planetary intergalactic. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know their catalog. Do 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 do. Beastie Boys fan. Beastie Boys fans. What's the best Beastie Boys song? Let me know. I'll check it out. What are you looking for? Well, I was looking for you, Death Card Dillinger. Remember, patience. Well done. Thank I you. regret not being there to see you smash those undead into rotting pulp. We're undead. Our time will come. I think he means zombies. The Scourge are trying to form a base at the Agamond Mills. If they do, then they can stage further attacks within Tirisfall. The orders have been given. The Scourge in the Mills must be destroyed. Go to the Mills, collect notched ribs from Rattle Cage and Cracked Skull soldiers, and blackened skulls from Dark Eye Bone Casters. I need to you get to sound mills, less sexy. The road west. I know how After to get there, freak. After the bridge, take the next fork north, then keep going north. When you see windmills, the battle will begin. All right. Very detailed instructions there. Hey, how you doing, man? You want some of that? What I'm about you? Oh, you're an NPC. That's okay. Speak quickly. No, I'm not going to speak quickly. Don't tell me what to do. You hear me? I'm down for that. You, get some of this. You like that? you damn right you like it. Our time will come. Um, let's go. There's wait, where's the mage trainer? He should be in here. What do you got for me, holy balls? Where's that fortitude? How about that fortitude? You absolute bastard. I don't do it. I always say that, don't I? I don't do it for the <laughs> for the return favor. But every time I fucking complain about it and Call him somebody a horrible name. And you are. I'm Susie Gretchen. I dated a girl named Gretchen a long time ago. I appreciate your efforts, adventurer. 
May Sylvanas recognize your bravery one day. Can I interest in you in some, I don't know, a happy pill or something? Because you're looking quite terrifying, honestly. Trust no one. Mage Trainer is here. Greetings. I'm an undead mage trainer and you're a mage. This is true. Alrighty. We can't have conjure water. Beware the living. We can now conjure six muffins. I want to see what uh, what these restore. See if they restore more than 61 health. They should. They don't. <laughs> they will soon. Okay. Um, We all set here? I think so. Let's... First aid trainer. Let's pick up some linen. Hey, what's up, bro? Um, what uses the least? Doesn't really matter what we make. Let's make up some simple linen pants. We'll make up four of these to get us to uh, 20. Wizard math. Play me that funky music, white boy. Play me that funky music all night. In fact, play that funky music and lay down the buggy until you die. Man, that guy's really into funky music. I wonder what this old man is babbling about. <laughs> You don't know what that is. You know what? You should be embarrassed. Probably got the lyrics wrong. All right. We can go see the tailor. Where's the... Uh, where's the barkeep freak? Right here. Rest your weary bones for a spell. I just sell all these. 23 copper? Okay. You know what? We'll take it. I don't think we can do the potions, man. I'm I'm pretty sure we can't do that, right, Kevin? Scrolls and stuff? I'm actually just going to sell that. I, I don't think that's that's doable. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We can't do that. Um... All right, let us catch up and mustard. No tomato or pickle. Let us uh, toast that bun. Let us go up here. I've used that joke a few times. Was that what it was? Was it a joke? It was a joke. Because I said, let us. Then I said, catch up and mustard. You know, it's a good joke if you have to explain it. Just, you know, okay. Let's move on here. We're looking for Doomweed, and we have to kill these freaks. They're going to uh, drop the embalming uh, stuff that we need. Ever tell you guys a story of how I drink embalming fluid? I mean, not on purpose. I've told that story before. I think I was 19, 20 years old. I think I was in Norfolk, Virginia at some bar by myself. I don't know. that that it, it, I'll, it was a club or a bar or something. This would have been 89, 1989 or 1990. And there were three... I almost said squids. Where I was from in Virginia, people used to call guys and gals who were, well, I guess mainly guys in the Navy, they called them squids. And I knew a guy who was in the Navy and 
that's actually where I heard it from. <laughs> He's like, me and my squids. And then he continued to talk. And all I, I just got completely lost. He finished what he was saying. And I was like, hey, man, what's a squid? <laughs> And they've got anyway, there was these three uh navy guys, and they invited me to sit with them. It was kind of weird because I was just standing there drinking, there was like a band playing, there's no place to sit. And you know, they were like doing shots and shit. They had they had like all kinds of shit on their table. And I was drinking a beer or something, and this guy goes, Hey man, drink this. And I just Drank it like a shot. And it was disgusting. The guy goes... Uh, like a few minutes passed. It was fucking weird, man. These guys were fucking weird. Like, really strange. Like, they weren't really saying shit. Anyway, the guy goes... He leans over because it was loud as fuck. He goes, you just drank embalming fluid. And I didn't... It was such a weird thing. I think I just, like, kind of looked at him. And this is back when I was a uh, lunatic. Like, I was getting into fights all the time. In fact, that's why I was at the bar. But because these guys, like, invited me to sit down, it, like, kind of, I don't know, chilled me out or something a little bit. I didn't do anything. I didn't... I mean, I don't think I did. I didn't, like, uh, like hit them or anything. Which is weird to me that I didn't do that. Here's the thing. I think they were drinking the shit, too, man. It was the weirdest fucking thing. I like I'll never forget that. Yeah, it was it was really weird. Now, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to drink formaldehyde. I'm pretty sure it's toxic to your body. Now, if you drink a little bit like a shot, I don't I mean, I'm still alive. But it was just weird. Because I, you know, the, my response was just, I don't know, I didn't say shit. I was just like looking, I just stared at the guy until he looked away. <laughs> but the other guys weren't even like paying attention. It was just like normal, like, yeah, it's just, yeah, we're just sitting here drinking formaldehyde. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what was going on there. Who knows? Anyway, that's my formaldehyde story. I mean, that's what they told me, right? It, I don't know a lot about alcohol, and I'm not a big drinker. It could have been vodka or something. Who knows? Maybe they were, like, trying to get a rise out of me or something, maybe? That's possible. Let's eat a corpse. And move on. Not a good little workout today. It was... I did back and biceps. More biceps than back. So what that means is tomorrow I'll hit back again a little bit. There was, uh, there was an older guy in there, really good shape. This guy was probably... I say at least 60, but this guy was jacked. He was in really good shape. And there was a really young girl in there. I'm going to call her a girl. She looked like, well, she wasn't a girl. She's probably in her 30s. Yeah, that's not a girl. Who was also in really good shape. Her lower body. She works out a lot. That's what I'll say. And I didn't realize at first, but they, they were a couple. And I only realized that because 
every once in a while, you could just tell that they would look over at each other and like, you know, they like checking in on each other and shit. But I've never seen them before and I feel like I've seen everybody who goes to that gym. They could be new members. They could also be just visiting and stopping by uh, to work out because the owner, he, uh, he gives day passes and stuff like that. So that could have been the deal. Maybe they're traveling or whatever. But like I said, they're both really high fitness. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. Like even on vacation, they're going to be looking uh, for places to work out. But I mean, you know, I don't know what my point is. It, it's just a big, it's at least a 30 year at least 30 years uh, age difference. He had the look of wealth to him. I'll say that. You ever notice that about some men or women? They just look like they have money. They're a little bit tan. Their teeth are perfectly white. Even their workout clothes look expensive. <laughs> I'm in there in like dirty fucking sweatpants that don't fit and, and this shirt. What are you saying, E? Are you saying that's how he got her? I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, he's a catch. Right? That guy's a catch. What I hope is that it's like this wonderful relationship. He treats her really well. She treats him really well. Doesn't have to be anything sinister or bad. What is she, a gold digger? <laughs> right? Doesn't have to be that. But some guys are okay with that. Yeah, I know that. Congratulations. Thank you. What are we looking for? We need uh, one more grave robber. I'm going to find those freaks down here. Mongrels. And we also need one more Icker. Icker. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Where are these mongrels at? Where they is at. Let's go up this way. Because we're finished with the grave robbers. Oh, hello there. Oh, I can't get earth root. 25? Oh, 15. We just started our uh, herbalism journey, so we've got a ways to go there. I feel like I posted a few more things on the auction house. Aside from... Just that tiger's eye that didn't sell. More bones to gnaw on. They love gnawing on bones. That's what he said. He said more bones to gnaw on. He likes multiple bones. He's, he likes what he likes. And he says it out loud. I appreciate that. Like, no BS. Okay. Um... Let's just make everything pervy. I don't mean to. Or maybe I do. Alright, five mongrels. We got my hit level nine. You a mongrel? He is a mongrel. So they have the really creepy ass looking bandages on them. If you look at these. Uh, character models really close. They're fucking terrifying. Not enough mana. What? The fuck out of here with that? It was like 20 feet away. <laughs> it smacked me on the other side of the fence. 
There's a mongrel. I've got to get my mana up here. We've got Silverleaf. We can get Silverleaf. Looking for freaks. Dee, 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 dee. I think we picked up, um, is it Mangle Tooth or whatever his name is? He's up in the, the little house up here. I don't know about that one, though. It's Maggot Eye. It's a yellow quest. We need to be full mana for that. For sure. You didn't even touch me, fool. Unfortunately. I thought I saw another herb over here. There it is. Silverleaf. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, let's get this guy out of the way. If I pull, I might pull here. Hello there. You're exactly what I need. Congratulations. We want the world and we want it now. Let's give this a shot. Um I don't know. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. What are you doing? He's level ten. Oh, I pulled two. That's not good, so we need to get out. I have polymorph. I'm gonna polymorph. I don't even have it on the bar, so let me just run sideways and reset here. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to put polymorph. Polymorph, even. I also have arcane missiles. This is gonna go up here, I think. That's a patrol. And we have the Curse of Thule. Spirit reduced by two. Pretty rough for us. Oh, I didn't even see that mob. Okay, we need to get this. We need to move him, but I don't want to pull him too close. I think this is just a double pull here. So I'm going to sheep... Okay, they're both the same level. I'm going to sheep this one. Oh, he's undead. I can't sheep undead. Yeah. No, you cannot. Only beast, humanoids, and critters. So this might not be doable. I mean, I just reset twice is what I do. Let me try this. Max range. Okay, that's good. That is damn good. Now I can get this guy. He's in the house by himself. I don't think there's another mob in there. Got a bow? We do. 
could get a bow. We could put the scroll of protection up, uh, and that's what we're going to do. Actually, he's a patrol, so just let him by. We'll get max range here. Get my mana all the way up, because we could potentially miss some shots. That's the worst case, if we miss too many of our spells. That was a good hit. Missed that one. Maybe we missed it. Oh, we're fine. Well. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's see if there's anything in the, the house here. Of course not. He cares not for riches. That's a long patrol that mob has. Um. Alrighty, how are we doing on time? Let's hearth back. Pretty cool. And let's turn some stuff in. We'll sell some stuff first. Rest your weary bones for a spell. Thank you. I don't mind if I do. We have to sell the health pot. This is interesting. I didn't really think about that. Malachite might sell. I guess I have two of those. I'll put this. Sure. Dark lady, watch over you. I don't need no dark lady watching over me. Well, it is Sylvanas, so yeah, that's fine. She can watch over me if she wants to. I don't mind that. This had better be good. It is good. I've got the bad guy from the area. Beware. Magadai's dastardly acts have finally been avenged. Maybe your acts of valor will send a clear message to those who wish to bring harm to our people. On behalf of the town of Brill, I thank you, adventurer. I don't know. They're undead. I don't, I don't think they have any organization going on. I'm listening. Expertly done, adventurer. The Scourge are mistaken if they think they can use those corpses against us, and the fluid you gathered from the rot hide slaves will be studied by our apothecaries. Okay. It may have secrets we can use against them. As yeah, I said, well done. Thank but you. But our struggle continues, and the conflict will surely offer you more chances to prove your worth to the Forsaken. I need no, a fresh report really, from our Death Guard to the east. I'm a Beth or Okay. Yeah, I'll prove myself to nobody. I know what I'm capable of. You hear me? <laughs> prove myself to you. Not down for that. I don't work for you. Hey there, bro. What does the shadow will? Ah, my doomweed. Excellent. These will come in quite handy. You've done me, uh, the lady, a fine service today, adventurer. As promised, here is the reward that you deserve. What does that mean? This guy's got something going on. He's like, uh, he's in it for himself or something. He's plotting. A little slip of the tongue there. I like that. Alrighty. Another silver leaf. Let's get this. Yeah, well what we'll do is we will um we'll use our skill. Alchemy skill. Uh we'll sell the we'll sell these potions because I, I can't use them. I can't use the armor pots or anything. They are liquid and we're not uh we're not down with that. You know, if we can't drink water, we can't drink uh potion. Or health pot, so we're gonna have to rely on scrolls. Scrolleronies. That goes to Beth or Ice Shard. We know where he is. We'll see who's going. Uh, we'll see what he's up to next episode. We gotta wrap this one up. We did it level nine. Very nice. 
We'll have a mage specific quest, I would assume, at level 10. I don't remember what it is, but uh, we'll find out. Let's get, uh, get some rest here. That'll do it. Thank you very much for hanging out, everybody. You guys and gals take care. Susie and I will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Good luck. Peace. Peace.